In this SpecView Secrets tutorial, you will learn how to use the F4T controller sample project in SpecView version 3. To get started, launch SpecView. Click Select Create Project. In the Projects list under Demo Projects, Manufacturer Demos, Watlow, select the Watlow F4T Monitor and Log Demo and click Go Online. Instead of live data from the controller, the fields on this screen are displaying NR for no response because the demo application is not communicating with my F4T. The instructions on the first screen tell you how to adjust the demo to communicate with your controller, but I'll show you now. To change communication settings, we need to go to the Edit Mode and Turn Off Communications. From the File menu, choose Edit Mode Go Offline. In most cases, the F4T communicates with the computer over Ethernet, but you can use a 232 or 485 connection via a COM port. If you will use a serial communications port and not Ethernet, from the Setup menu, choose Swap COM ports. In the Unused COM port list, select the port you will use, then click Swap. Since I'm using Ethernet, I'm going to click Cancel. With the correct port set, the next step is to change the instrument's addresses. Click the V button to open the variables list. There are six instruments in this project supporting the F4T. Select one and click Properties to see how it's addressed. The TCP IP address is set to 192.168.0.222. If I change my controller to that address, this project will be able to communicate with it. But it's just as easy to change the IP addresses for all the instruments. Copy the IP address, then close the Add Rename Instrument dialog by clicking Cancel. From the Options menu in the Variables list, choose Replace. In the Find field, paste the current address you copied from the instrument properties, then type the address of your controller in the Replace field. Deselect all the options except In Address. Click OK. SpecView tells you six items were replaced. That's good since there are six instruments defined for the F4T. Click OK. Close the variables list, click the Run button, and SpecView is communicating. If you're not using Ethernet, instead of changing the TCP IP addresses, you may need to change the slave address. If your controller is communicating via 485 and has a slave address other than 1, edit the properties of each of the six instruments, setting the slave address to the address of your F4T. You can modify this demo for use in your application or look at it as an example of what you can do when you make your own projects. We hope you found this SpecView Secrets tutorial helpful. More secrets are revealed in other installments.